Hi, I'm Dr. Chestnut and I'm the developer of the Innate Choice Supplement System. What I want to talk to you about right now is, is well, I guess before I talk to you about the importance of omega-3 fatty acids, I should probably explain what they are. Many of you may be unfamiliar. An omega-3 fatty acid, well, let me just talk about an essential fatty acid. That's probably easier. An essential fatty acid is sim simply this. It's a type of fat that's required inside your body to make your body work properly. It's something that you genetically require. The innate genetic intelligence or the, the, the genetic blueprint inside your body requires certain raw materials to make your cells and your systems and your organs and, and, and your entire ecosystem uh, work properly. So an essential fatty acid, essential means that your body cannot produce it itself. It means that you have to ingest it in your diet. So an, an essential fatty acid is simply an, a fatty acid that you're, you're genetically, you require to produce health and vitality and protect yourself from illness that you can't produce yourself inside your body, so you have to get it from your diet. Traditionally, human beings got our EPA and DHA from eating wild game, because wild game is full of omega-3 fatty acids, or fish. Uh, those, those who live close to the sea, of course, would have uh, had a wonderful supply from, from there. And of course, those who lived inland had a, a lot of wild game. In fact, many scientists believe that human beings, our cortex, which is full of DHA, one of these uh, essential fatty acids we're talking about, uh, that our cortex, we literally became a, a intelligent human beings because we had the substrate of DHA available by consuming large amounts of wild game. Uh, the animals that we produce now, importantly, uh, the farmed animals, uh, the industrialized uh, farmed animals, do, don't have EPA and DHA in them. If they do, it's in trace amounts. What they do have is very high amounts of omega-6 fatty acids, which is another type of fatty acid. And it's very important to understand that although we need some of those omega-6 fatty acids, we don't need the types that are found in, in, in the most commonly in the industrialized human diet. So. I'll get to the, uh, the important ratios between omega-6 and omega-3 later, but let me just continue on to explain a little bit more about what omega-3 fatty acids are and what they do. An omega-3 fatty acid, again, is, a, is, a, is simply it's a fatty acid that your body can't produce itself, and it's very important because it's a fat. It's, it's in all of our cell membranes. It's crucial for the, for the proper function of our immune system. It's crucial for the proper function of our nervous system probably especially, it's a huge component of brain and nervous tissue. And we now know uh, with thousands and thousands of research articles that when human beings are deficient in this essential nutrient, essential fatty acids, all kinds of problems can occur. We, we are more susceptible to cancers, heart disease. Our bodies become more inflammatory, uh, which again is at the basis of heart disease and chronic pain and cancers and all kinds of other different issues. Virtually almost every chronic illness um, a, a, a deficiency in omega-3 fatty acids is a contributing factor to virtually all chronic illnesses. Um, it, well, it makes total sense. If we know that our body requires us to express health and we're missing it, clearly something's going to go wrong. Essential fatty acids are also important in our, in our uh, gut because they actually, the, the healthy bacteria, the probiotics in our gut require essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids are very important in bone formation. Um, I mean, you understand, I'm sure, that your body is made up of cells. And if we understand that essential fatty acids are in every cell and important in every cell membrane, I think we can get the idea that they're really one of the most important nutrients ever identified for human health. Let me explain why that you need to supplement with omega-3 fatty acids. The reason is because they are no longer in our diet. Uh, again, traditionally, we used to get it from wild game and fish. And those sources are, sources are no longer available. When we eat domesticated animals that are fed corn and soy and, and other grains, there's just no omega-3 fatty acids in them. Even the, even the grass-fed animals that are then taken to a feedlot at the end, in six weeks they're virtually, there are only trace amounts of EPA and DHA essential fatty acids left. You're just not going to get enough from there. You're not going to get enough of EPA and DHA by eating vegetable so sources like flaxseed oil or, or borage oil because your humans are not genetically designed to convert vegetable sources into the longer chain EPA, DHA. What does that mean? I know I'm getting a little technical, but vegetables have, vegetable sources of omega-3 fatty acids have very few carbons. And the ones that we require for, for, for humans, for ourselves, for in our cell membranes and our nervous tissue and all the other places, is we need a lot more carbons. We need longer chains of fatty acids, the EPA and DHA. We don't, we don't have a good system for adding carbons onto those things in our bodies, but the animals that we consume have very good ways to do that. 
and they're very efficient in those pathways. So humans are genetically designed to obtain our EPA and DHA from consuming other animals. We're omnivores. You can't get it from fish either because fish are now so toxic uh, with mercury and PCBs. In order, to eat, in order to get enough EPA and DHA from fish, you'd have to eat enough fish that you'd become toxic. So really now, the only viable solution uh, is either to clean our oceans or start eating uh, wild game. And I don't think any of those are going to happen by the time, uh, you know, you, you would be so deficient and sick if you waited for that to happen that I, I strongly uh, recommend uh, obviously that you everybody now everybody every day for life you hear, you'll hear that over and over again everybody requires uh, EPA and DHA essential fatty acids in order to express health and to prevent illness everybody from birth in fact from in the time we're in the womb from the time we pass from this earth we require that the ingestion or or consuming that nutrient every day, who everybody does. If we don't do it, there's learning problems as kids. Um, children's b brains don't develop as well. Uh, it's more more inflammatory, more acne as teenagers, more, more ADHD, uh, more susceptible to cancers, diabetes, heart disease, all those things all throughout our life. So it's, it's literally an unequivocal, you know, no pun intended, no brainer that everybody requires this nutrient. The best way to get that, of course, is now, well, the only way now to get sufficient amounts of this is through supplementation. And the best way to do that is supplementation with the fish oil. And I'm going to explain to you in another video um, how to make sure that you're getting the right kind of fish oil, make sure that you're getting a very purified fish oil, and make sure you're getting a fish oil that is going to give you the most value for your dollar, both in, in terms of, of health and wellness and prevention. So um, I'll leave that for another video. I hope now you have a greater understanding of why essential fatty acids are so essential for everybody, every day, for life. Thank you.